Wow. Wow. Y'all got to excuse me, man. I, I've, I've been drinking a little bit. I've been drinking. I, admittedly so, I've been drinking. But what a fucking game. What a fucking game basketball is, man. Phoenix won the first two at home. Milwaukee back. They won. They win the next two at home. Drew Holiday absolutely selling tonight. Four for 17, four for 18. He was nothing. He, he gave them nothing. Chris Middleton, 40 points on 15 to 33 shooting, six rebounds, four assists. The man was incredible tonight. Every big shot Middleton took, he made. I love it. I love Chris Middleton at home. Giannis Atatakumpo on both sides of the ball was dominant. Now, he didn't give you 40 points like he did in game two. He didn't give you 40 points like he did in game three. But when you needed him most, he was there on the defensive play on the lob. He blocked it from Aiden, goes down. And Giannis is just not scared. The way that he comes at you, the way that he's so relentless on both sides of the ball, I've grown to love him. As I, I've grown to become a fan of Giannis Antetokounmpo. This this was this was a spectacular performance for the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm very happy. Game five in Phoenix, and all they need is one special game for Middleton on the road. That's all they need, or Drew Holiday. They just need one special game from Drew Holiday or Chris Middleton on the road to still win to Phoenix. Come back to Milwaukee. Phoenix is done. Phoenix is done. If they do that, Devin Booker, spectacular performance, spectacular performance from Devin Booker. Um, he, I think he had 40 points, didn't take or make a three point attempt. I can't remember, um, but he was just spectacular tonight. He, he brought his game. He came to the, he came to the game in a suit. He meant all business and he did that. Um, I, I, I tip my cap. I, I tip my cap to, to, to Devin Booker. He played well. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. 10 points, I believe 5 or 14 shooting, one garbage time bucket, um, four turnovers, one critical turnover. When the Bucks, I think, could have tied it, uh, I don't know. He looks like a different player from the first two from the first two games in this series. He looks like a completely different player. He looks like somebody that's that's worried about something for for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But Chris Paul is is definitely he's not playing like he was the first two games. DeAndre Ayton neither. DeAndre Ayton is not being the same force on the on the offensive or defensive side of the ball that he was when he was in Phoenix. And and that's a problem. That's a problem because you need your boys to step up on the road. Now, I, I don't expect, expect Mikael, Bridges, Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson to show up on the road. You know what I'm saying? But Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton, DeAndre Ayton was the number one overall pick. Chris Paul, rookie of the year, 2004, like he's a lottery pick. He's a Hall of Famer, top five, top ten point guard, depending on who you ask. So I need more from him. I need him to do more. I don't, I don't, I don't understand what he's been doing, what he was on tonight. I don't know if the mob got to him, but this was not a care. This was a very uncharacteristic performance from Chris Paul tonight. I don't expect him to perform like this again. I, I do expect him to perform very well in Game Five, but tonight that was not it. But um, the Phoenix Suns had a terrific game plan against uh, Giannis. They, very, they they neutralized him as much as any team can neutralize him. He had twenty. I think he finished with twenty nine points. Um, you know, and that, I mean, compared to what he was doing in game two and game three, that's locking down Giannis because he was getting whatever the hell he wanted. He was living at the free throw line and, you know, tonight they, they didn't allow him to do that. And I commend them for that. That, that, they get my, they get props for that. But overall, man, this was a spectacular, spectacular game. These finals are one of the most entertaining finals that I've watched. It's more entertaining than last year. It's more entertaining than 2019. It's more entertaining than 2018 and 2017. This is probably the most entertaining final since the 2016 finals five years ago, man. This is one of the, the most entertaining finals. I'm very happy that I'm being able to witness this and I'm alive for this finals, man, because, man, we deserve it as basketball fans. At the way that this season has gone, the way that this year is going in general, we just deserve it, man. But, no, I really don't have anything to get into as far as X's and O's or highlights or anything like that. This is just a phenomenal game. Um, that's all I got to say, man. Till next time.